Hey there awesome people, how are you guys doing? So this is here Vibro from Filmora Made Easy and today in this video I'll be teaching you how you can use stock footages or stock images with just one click in Filmora. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. But before that, make sure you subscribe to the channel as I'll be bringing more contents related to Wondershare Filmora as this is Filmora made easy now you have watched a lot of your favorite content creators they use really high quality you know uh, stock footages or stock images and um, even you want to use them right and for example it doesn't matter you, you might be watching relationship videos or workout videos or video editing videos as you are watching right now or maybe online gaming or whatever the genre may be and in this video you're gonna learn it how you can do it by yourself easily with just few clicks and yes I have been using this stock videos myself and that's why that's how you make a video engaging but pre previously normally if you just ask a person how you would do it you just need to go to some website like pixels.com as you can see right here there you will find videos uh, that you can use or photos that you can use on your um, you know social media or anything as such if I go here to videos and for example let me search for uh, workout at home or maybe workout and you can see these are the videos are here that you can use and even you can just search for photos and videos so that's how you can use and for just uh, you can use it without any issue you know just click on the download button and uh, if you want, you can uh, just give some credits to the, you know, the owner or the person who created this video and just click on the start download button. And that's how you do it. And after downloading, you just need to copy that onto your video editing software. And that's how you get the, um, you know, stock videos or stock images. But in our beloved Filmora 12, we have something great. Let me open up my Filmora right now to show you the thing that I'm talking about in action. Okay, so right now we are in Filmora and right now let me just add in a audio or anything as such. If I go to my uh, music, go to YDBG, these are some of the music that I use for all my videos. These are just background music, which I won't be playing right now. But to get all your videos or stock images, there is a dedicated tab uh, on the top. Just beside media, there is stock media. So we'll click on it. And there you have two options of videos and photos. If I go to video and there you can just search for anything. Let me again search for meditational video. I'll just search for it. And there will be videos re related to that, as you can see. And to just add it uh, to your timeline, just drag it and just release it. This will automatically download from the on, uh, download from the internet, and with that way, you have got yourself, uh, you know, stock videos with just a single click, and it is just amazing. Trust me, I use it myself for a lot of my use cases. For a lot of my, uh, I do have couple of uh, other YouTube channels that I run. I use this uh, feature in Filmora 12 and it is amazing. You can just, just see drop, drag and drop and that's how you do it. And this is only available in Filmora 12 so make sure you update it to the latest version. Uh, so right now I think the latest version is if I go to about you can see the version is 12.0.21 and this is just pretty much great. Just trust me guys on this and all the you know requests that we have for the wondershare team just listens to it and give gives us this and it's just pretty amazing and also like i said there are also other places where you can get there is um gify maybe yeah gify where you can get gifts and stuff or pixabay here you can get videos as well as photos oh so you can see we have green screen as well so which is pretty nice uh, yeah, that's a green screen. And in the next video, I'll show you how you can use green screen on your computer, on your Filmora, not on your computer, on your Filmora. So make sure you subscribe for that. And also there is Unsplash as well, which is pretty great. It is just useful for uh, photos only. So for videos, you'll have to use Pixels or Pixabay. And that's pretty much it. Well, that's it for this today's video. That's it for today's video, guys. Whoa, there's so much of chaos going around well that's it for today's video guys i hope you really like it and also learn something in this video have a great day and also make sure you subscribe as i'll be bringing more content related to filmora as this is filmora made easy have a great day and i'll see you in the next video until then take care guys